for that box in the basement stashed in the way, way, mm -hmm. way, way back. Mm -hmm. But we still hope there might be a hidden treasure in there. Yeah, you never know. Well, today we're going to meet three people who hope that their prized possessions are pricey as well. We'll see. Well, it's Doctor and the Diva, and it's Tuesday, mm -hmm. and that means it's time for Treasure Hunt, Hunt Tuesday! Tuesday. <laughs> Get into the octagon. Mm -hmm. Let me introduce you to our appraiser extraordinaire, PhD antiques expert, Dr. Lori. She is an expert. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Nice. How are you doing? Good. Good, mm -hmm. good, good. Are you two ready to go toe to toe? Toe to toe. Toe to toe. Head to head. Toe to toe. No, no let's, no. Go let's go toe to toe. <laughs> Come on out here, Tony. All right. Hi, Tony. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hi. Nice Hi. to see you. Hi. Thank you very Ooh. much. You're very welcome. Oh. Beautiful. Goes right to the monocle. Tony, tell us about your stunning ring. It's a antique cocktail aquamarine ring. It's made from platinum. Um, I bought it a bunch of years ago. I, I grew up in, in, in the industry of jewelry. My father was a jeweler. And, um, well, I've, I've had it for a number of years. There could never find a hallmark or anything that would indicate that it came from a fine house, so I figured I would bring it in and see what, you know, it, is. See what, it, see what Ooh, it is. So you're hoping yeah. it's Cartier. Yeah. Well, yeah, Cartier, Van Cleef, Of course you are. Because like <laughs> <that. laughs> you're in yes. the business and you understand, right? I, I, I collect jewelry and baubles because I, I grew up in the business and I'm a GIA grad. So this is this is this is a oh, hobby wow. of mine. This is the a hobby of mine. The GIA is the Gem Institute, of course, of America, right. and they are the folks who will actually identify and also, of course, evaluate stones, whether they're mm. raw stones or cut stones. This is, of course, is a faceted cut emerald cut stone. Oh, so it's that's an beautiful. emerald. It's a legit emerald. It is emerald cut. It's an aquamarine. It's an aquamarine. What does that mean? Aquamarine is a the type color. of stone. Oh, it is an actual stone. It's a type but it's of not stone. Okay. It's a natural barrel. So, uh, my turn, pick me. Please. So, this heart, this ring is gorgeous, right? Yeah. So, diamonds I'm on the side. There's I'm diamonds salivating on the side. over this ring. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's an aquamarine. You said it's set in platinum. Yes. You've said it, you, you've re referenced the age, but you've not said how many years you've had it. Like, how long have you had Good it? Good question. I've only had it for about five years now. And, and where did you get it from? People who know me and know that I'm a, a, a buyer of collectible jewelry, hmm. I, they passed my name along and somebody had called me and said, I think that I have something that you might be interested in. Okay, you, have, you got this from a peer who's also in the jewelry business? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. I, he, right. he, he, I believe he bought an estate. It wasn't his type of item. And he called upon me okay. and, and asked me if I was interested. One okay, a few quick questions. How many carats of diamonds Thank you. on there? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Total diamond weight, in, in, in estimation based on its being set, somewhere around a carat, carat 10. How big is the aquamarine? Yeah, it's how big? He was asking how big is the aquamarine. It's a little over 42 carats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the quality of the diamonds? The diamonds are very good quality. Very good quality. From, from, a, from, a, from a diamonds graduate and a gemologist's point of view, they're very good quality. Are they diamonds. antique diamonds? Yes, they are. We That's all the time we have for questions. Do Dr. Stephen Kimberly, down. time for you to write down your answers. Think about it carefully. 42 carats plus the weight, of course, the diamonds. It's set in platinum. It is an emerald cut. That has to do with, of course, the size of the table, which has to do with, of course, beautiful. the way in which it's cut. Oh, girl, the color is beautiful. beautiful. Okay, Kimberly, what did you guess? Oh, gosh. I think I went too high. What did you get? $65,000. Dr. Steve, what about you? 65 grand? I thought I went high at 35 grand. 35 grand. But again, we know nothing about this. We know this. nothing. <laughs> they right. Went, and the, I'll, I'll be honest with you, the only, the only reason why I went as high as I did mm -hmm. is because I've been online looking at emeralds. Of course so she you was. See, when you're looking at emeralds, you see a lot of this stuff come up. Mm. And surprisingly, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's pricey. Expensive. It's expensive. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. look up jewelry. Well, which one of you is right? In this particular case, we're going to look at this piece, and I want to tell you a little bit about aquamarines. Aquamarines are wonderful, beautiful, lovely colored gemstones. However, there are many different colored gemstones. 
This one, of course, is large, but not very, very large. Now, in fact, this particular aquamarine is set in platinum, and it is in a style that dates to about the 1930s to the 1940s. In the high style of Hollywood, of course, right? Mm -hmm. The 1930s, the golden age of Hollywood, and these types of pieces of jewelry that were made by Van Cleef and Arpels, or, of course, Cartier and other great jewelry houses. Mm -hmm. This particular vintage ring is worth Fifteen thousand dollars. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Wow. All right. Very we, nice. I have a feeling I was high, but mm. you're a little I'm bit really high. high. I'm we're way both off. way off. Way off. So now, yeah. Tony, I'm sure you were hoping it was worth a lot more than that. And there are folks who might say, "Oh, well, I'd pay more than that because I like it." So okay. you did very oh my well. Gosh, it's beautiful. Yeah. You did very well, and it's a beautiful. There you go. It Ooh. is so Absolutely. stunning. It's like yeah. I'm, I'm, thank it's thank stunning. You. All right. Thank you for coming, Tony. our next hopeful treasure hunter and he comes with some baggage come on out here Dean <laughs> yeah hi my pleasure will you put that up here for absolutely. me absolutely thank you yes. hmm. Oh. Hmm. tell us about your bag well it was a, a bag that uh, the purse was owned by my mother we've had it about 27 28 years um, it, we uh, it was in the garage sale my mother passed away in 1992 did you put it in the garage sale? Uh, no, the family did. The family did? Yeah. Was it yeah. your fault? No. The guys no, always no, get no, rid no, of no. the purses. No, no. The guys no. get rid of the costume no. jewelry. The guys get rid of the stuff that can be very right, valuable. Right. I was wondering if you were the culprit, Dean. No, 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 I, I wasn't. No? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got it. Yeah, it was All right. the family. So, I want to show them a couple things. Keep absolutely. talking. We're, we're listening to you. So uh, during the garage sale, it didn't sell, so my oh. wife thought it was really a neat item. And, your wife uh, liked it? She loved it, Do you yes. listen to her most of the time? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, yes, dear. Yes, dear. <laughs> so, Look yeah, we, she, she acquired it. Look at that. Get a good oh, show. So I can change my purse too? without changing my purse. I knew you'd get that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and does it? And you could go the other way too with the white if you wanted to too. You're so good. You yeah. certainly can. So it's three in one. But does it come with matching shoes? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Tune that for you. Okay. Got it. Some questions for my mm -hmm. friend Dean. Well, Dr. Lori and I went yeah. to the thrift antique store a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. and you said. Real materials. Yes, I did. Real materials. So I'm I looking did. at this bag. It's uh, it's the bag bag. The cloth part is in good condition, and it's real. You know, it's uh, stitched well. And this is what patent leather. It's bengaline, maybe? which is a kind of nylon. Yeah. And this is similar. Right? Yeah. Plastics. And this, okay. of course, is lucite. 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 Okay. Lucite. And the metal is also a plastic. Uh, base metal, pot so metal, tooth anything. metal. So I guess my question is, you know, is there a market for handbags? Like the is there a collector's market, yeah. you mean? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Oh. Very big market for collectible yeah. handbags. Okay. See, I would have thought that knowing about the people that buy the new ones, there's a market for them, too. Right. right? It just never right. ends. That's right. All right. So has anyone else used it since your grandmother had it? No, it's been sitting in the house ever since. Our house. Okay. Right. Yes. Well, how do you store it? Do you, are you keeping it in a good place? In, in a closet. Okay, and the closets yeah. are not bad, up yeah. in the shelf, right? Okay. Guest room okay. closet, maybe. That's all the time all right. we have for questions. Okay. Okay, okay Dr. Steve and Kimberly, write okay. down those answers. $40. They're writing the guesses. They're not sure. They're trying to figure it out. I don't know Kimberly about doesn't know, but it's a three-in-one. You saw how easy it was to change it. Yeah. What do you think? What's your guess? Time for the big reveal. All right. All right. Steve, what did you guess? I think it's $425. 425 oh, Wow. I'm 4. just thinking, 25. it's okay, you know, it's like cotton, it's lucite, it's plastic, but it's a collectible, and a lot of people get crazy about collectibles, so I'm going to go there. I don't know. Kimberly? What do I you said think? 100 bucks, because I'm just not sure. Not sure? Mm -hmm. But yeah. you put 100 bucks on the pocketbook, because yeah, we do all that's that's easy. Easy. Right. Yeah. That's easy. That's easy. Yeah. That happens. Okay. Condition is one of the issues we want to think about. Certainly. There's a little bit of a loss area right up here, yes. so that's one of the things you want to think about. The particular piece dates just about the 1950s. You can see this with, of course, the moons and the stars and the metals. Metallic's okay. very popular in the 1950s. Sometimes you can tell by style, for example. The other thing you're looking at is lucite, which is introduced very, very strong into the collectible purse market in the 1950s. This particular piece is in very good condition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any damage, any scrapes. It has this one little inclusion or abrasion, as museum curators like me would say. The piece is worth $200. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so the one who is closer, closer is Kimberly. Right. Yeah, but we ran it. Wasn't a lot. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. very nice. They sell very actively online, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. at all different types of sites. Uh, Dean, how do you feel about the appraisal? Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, it's I'm better impressed. than 25 yeah, cents at the yard sale, absolutely, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dean. Thank you. All right. Well, have no fear. We still have one more treasure hunter to go. It's a happy little painting that could make its owner happy, too. There's more Treasure Hunt Tuesday right after this. Yeah! <laughs> have seen two treasures and the score again is yeah. tied. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's we're, okay. Well, we're close, right? We're doing good. Yeah, we're, we're getting doing better good. at this. You're doing good. That's now right. it's time for our final treasure hunter of the day. Come on out here, Rich. All right. Woo! I know yeah. you are. I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> you know us all. That's right. I got this rig. I got this rig. Uh, Rich, tell us about your painting. All right, well, back in the early 90s, I worked at MTV. Way back. And I, I was three. I was three at the time. I'm helping you. Way um, hey, back. <laughs> it's hard out there. <laughs> and I was sent down to Florida to do a promo shoot with Bob Ross. You remember Bob Ross? Oh, the, yeah. The happy yeah. little. The guy with the big afro. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I was there and I was. From I was, PBS, I, the from happy PBS, painter. exactly. Oh, so I was yeah. there doing a promo show with, shoot with him. Okay. And with I, the fro. With the fro. Yeah. And I <laughs> saw him paint this painting in front of my very eyes. Right. And, I, and he did a couple that day, but at the end of the shoot, he handed that to me. Wow. And I just really? I kept it. I just kept it. All these years. All these years. Right. Wow. Yeah. Like it was yesterday. Yeah. How is it worth? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Questions for Rich. Well, you asked us how much is it worth, or Dr. Lori, how much do you think it's worth? I, I, honestly, honestly, I have no idea. Okay. I, 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 right. I, Hanging around the closet I, I know, all these I know, years. I know Bob Ross passed away. And by the way, right. he was a wonderful man on the shoot. He right. was so awesome, and it's, it's, but he passed away. Okay. So I don't know if that makes things more valuable, unfortunately, that, that he's yeah. now not painting anymore. People right. believe that if you can't produce more, then all the stuff goes up. My, That's a myth. My, okay. okay. My impression is, I, I would imagine there's lots of Bob Ross paintings out there. I mean, he did so right. many TV shows sure. and so many paintings. But so yeah. there might just be just Now, the thing is, I'm wondering, Dr. Lori, if because it says MTV, I don't know if that makes it uglier or that's like a special thing because there's definitely not many MTV Bob Rosses out there. Oh. Let's look a little bit at the painting, okay. can okay. we? Okay, yeah, so I mean, you asked Rich some questions. And you'll notice that there is an oval here, mm -hmm. right, as part of the composition. We read paintings from upper left to lower right. That's why artists usually sign their works in the lower right. He happened to sign his work in the lower left, which is unusual. Notice, mm -hmm. too, that this particular painting on the back is quite white. Yeah. Right. Color relates to age. The lighter the canvas, the younger the object. Mm -hmm. Right. The age spot on my face is the same as the one on my mother's face. <laughs> right? But my mother is older. Hers is darker. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't care how you remember it as long as you remember it. <laughs> also, I want you to think about what you see on the side, which is, of course, these staples. Okay. Yeah. Staples are usually introduced in works of art about 1955. We mm. have someone who can date it to the right. 1990s, uh -huh. but those are some of the traits that you want to look at if you're at home trying to figure out your paintings. Gotcha. Okay. okay, so we're looking at this. It's very nicely handled. It is not characteristic of the particular subject matter he usually does. Notice right. those happy trees? They didn't look like the evergreens he was painting. Right. Yeah. Does that make a difference? Mm. I'm going to say yes, it does. Okay, you think yeah. about that. Yeah. That's the end for your question. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. All that matters. Okay. Produced them in the public realm, but he produced a lot of works of art. Okay. This is an original. It's it an is. original. It's an I original. I can guarantee that. It's original. I can it's guarantee original. that. Yeah. It's a landscape. He's known for landscapes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But there's no happy trees in there. <laughs> well, the, 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 the palm trees look kind of happy to me. <laughs> Beautiful sunset. I'm on a beach. I'm happy. <laughs> Kimberly, what did you what did you think? Oh, that's your number. That's our take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Tell He's happy about that number. I was at four fifty. I'll take it. Just because I love Bob Ross, but there are hundred. I know there are so many of these out there, so I don't know. So many, so, so many, many so. so many. It's unique that it still has provenance from the French to prove it. It has been mm -hmm. kept in the owner's line. Yes. It went from the artist directly to you. It did. Right. And it didn't go somewhere else. That's nope. Right. right. If it's handed down to your daughter, for example, it can increase in value over time. Yes. Okay. okay. So you want to think about keeping it in the family. Okay. The MTV logo does bring it a little bit of cachet, right? A little bit more. The fact that it is oval 
is what I don't like about it because most of his pieces were completed the whole piece. Mm -hmm. You're so taking me up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> it's a TV show, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Basically what you're looking at. So, value on this particular piece is $2,000. Yeah! Yeah! Wow! Yeah! Wow! I like it. She won, <laughs> but man. I think I won. Right. I think I won. I think you won. I think you won. Uh -huh. But wow, really I can't great. believe Team Diva is doing very yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right. the winner of the day today, of course. The Diva. The Diva. The Diva. The Diva. The Diva. <laughs> That's so, all right. So tell me, are you loving Treasure Hunt Tuesday? for being Lots here. So much fun and I'm getting so, quite the education. Yeah. And we are going to go treasure hunting again next Tuesday. Every Tuesday, that's right. But for now, there's more Dr. Nadiva coming up next. Yeah. <laughs>